Hello, Bishop Wooden here. It's raining on the outside, but man, I am happy on the inside. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we're going to rejoice and be glad in it. Now, one of the reasons, my friends, that I am so, so excited is I just want to share a little good news with you. I have here all oh, the deeds paid in full uh, of the Upper Room Church of God in Christ, our properties. And, and by the way, uh, I, I, there's no mortgage. I didn't get a loan. We, God blessed us to pay off the ministry and I praise God for that you know I've had so many people to tell me hey wouldn't if you keep standing on the word of the Lord like that you, you're gonna go down hey wouldn't if you keep preaching the truth like that you're gonna lose well wouldn't paid off the church by the help of the God of the Bible he's a mighty God and I tell you one thing if you take care of the Lord's business he'll take care of yours we serve a God who promised that he would never allow us to be made shame. He said, Behold, I lay in Zion for a foundation, a stone, a tried stone, a precious cornerstone, a sure foundation, and he that believeth shall not be made haste. That is, he that believeth shall not be made ashamed. God is good, my friends. God is good. But listen, he's at it again. He's at it again. President Obama, King Obama, Bishop Obama, whatever you want to call it. Matter of fact, I was somewhere last night and the preacher, uh, I don't know if it was a Freudian slip or what, but he referred to our great president as Bishop Obama. Well, he's not a bishop, he's not a preacher, and he's not a king. He's the president of the United States, but I tell you, he tends to govern like he is all of those things uh, uh, because here he is again. Sticking his nose into North Carolina business. The president is doing to the state of North Carolina what the president did, tried to do to, uh, I got it right here, Nigeria. He threatened the Nigerians that if they didn't change that anti-gay bill, that he would cut off funding. He, the president did the same thing. To, to Kenya. Well, I guess he's not a Kenyan because the Kenyan uh, president said this. He said, quote, homosexuality is against the plan of God. We have heard that in the U.S. they allow gay relations and other dirty things. That's a direct quote. He says, I want to say as a Christian leader, we will defend our country, Kenya. We will stand for our faith and our country. End of quote. Wouldn't it be nice to hear our president, who says that he's a Christian, that, that he would say the same thing about a lifestyle that the Bible is not gray concerning. It's black and white. He did the same thing with... Uh, 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 other African nations, Senegal and uh, other nations, the president, the, the Caribbean groups, uh, the president has gone to these places and tried to press them to legalize homosexuality that, or that he would withhold charitable aid. I got a question for you. What's up with our president and the LGBTQ community? Why? Why go to African nations? Why go to other nations? Did you hear me? Other nations and stick your nose in their business. Uh, other presidents before President Obama have never done this. Uh, no other president has ever thought it necessary to try to tell another nation that if you don't allow people to participate in a lifestyle, did you hear that thunder? That the God of the Bible calls sin, you, you will withhold charitable aid and U.S. funding. Now, the state of North Carolina is in his crosshairs and the president has given our state until Monday or he's threatening to withhold federal funding from the state if we do not overturn if we do not gut HB2 which HB2 simply keeps the government from forcing private businesses and places of public accommodations a hey, pastors that is, churches also, keeps the federal government from forcing us to allow men to use the women's restroom and vice versa. Those of you who oppose HB2, you may not know that a man doesn't have to dress like he's transgendered. If, if, if it weren't for HB2, a guy can be dressed just as I am right now and go into the ladies' room 
and they call the police and the police come in and I look at the police and say, hey, I self-identify as a woman. And guess what? They can't put me out. Do you think that that's a good idea? Do you think that that is something that the president of the United States of America should be putting his weight behind with the Attorney General Loretta Lynch? Oh my, we're in big trouble. But listen, tonight, I want to give you reasons to rejoice. Our confidence, however, is not in the president. It's not in one political party, any political party. Our confidence is in the God of the Bible. And I, I'm telling you, the Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. And my friends, if you stand on the word of God, you won't either. We're going to be addressing this topic and uh, what the president is doing with challenging HB2 next week with the Bible says this. What say you? Now, it may be raining tonight. It's raining today. I don't know what the forecast is, but if it is raining, <laughs> press your way to church. Isn't it amazing? The new definition of press your way is drive to church in the rain. Come on. We're not that weak. Let's just praise the Lord. Grab an umbrella. Uh, get some galoshes if you need them. Turn on the windshield wipers and come on to the house of God and let's have Good Bible study. I'll see you tonight. I'll see you tonight. I'm excited. God bless.